All right, good morning from Willow Beach, Arizona. Trout plant was yesterday. Clouds finally cleared out. And it is nice and flat. Nice and flat. So it's just getting light, as you can see. And I just got here. So y'all have heard me say that I won't bring anything but the big rig here because it's so much faster and it's just a better weapon for the monster stripers at Willow. So, you know, today we're gonna do the right thing. And we're in the tiny Titan, the baby Titan. <clears throat> so, uh, hopefully we'll be going on a sleigh ride. I know a little four or five pounders drag this thing around like, it's, you know, nothing. So, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be finding out what a 20 or north of that will do to this. Uh, this thing's all right. I really like it. You know, it's an excellent, excellent Lake Mead boat. But, you know, we're going to find out if, how she does at Willow. I've been out here in 10 and a half footers before, and this one's actually 10 foot 9. But, uh, uh, well, it's either going to work or it isn't, but we're going fishing. I haven't the last four times I've tried to put this thing in the water. It's uh, been windy or raining or just crappy weather or I, I've been working you know and just not able to I got called in a couple of times and uh, the plans to put her in the water kind of went off the rails but we're here today so here we go and as always I'm in compliance with the Lake Mead National Recreation Area filming guidelines so let's not worry about that let's just go find some fish stick around all right so far the baby Titan is doing freaking awesome uh, I mean, as expected, if you crank that rudder in the current, it's going to try and throw you out. But, you know, it's tight and it's not going to flip. But uh, it is, the, I'm used to the big rig. This thing is way more responsive than the big rig. But uh, she's, uh, she's doing all right. I watched uh, about a half hour ago. We were right in this area, right where we are right now. And a friend, Jim, a friend of mine, Jim, was probably about 100 feet away from me. I watched him lose a freaking monster, just a total real screamer. And he lost it about probably 20 feet behind the boat. But it was just smoking drag. I mean, I could I could hear it plain as day. Just zzz, 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 zzz. and uh, you know, he got the got the hook set and lost it. You know, pretty close to the like I, I would say the first 15 seconds and the last 15 seconds of the fight are when you're probably gonna lose fish, and it was the last 15 seconds for him. So, yeah, but he's still out here. I don't know where he went. I think he went down river. We're gonna head up. I'm gonna make one more pass through where I am right here. And we're gonna head up towards the hatchery. All right, Chuck, this is for you. You were asking me the rod placement for your 106. All right, this is a, this is a almost the same length as your 106. Three inches longer, no big deal. But uh, see the angle? But it's not, you know, it's not dragging me. It's, my rudder is completely straight right now. And uh, it's just straight as an arrow. So just got to make sure that you got room between the butt of the rod and your leg. So there you go. Now you know, Chuck. I think my buddy Jim just got one. Jim will get a picture. Did you get one, Jim? Yeah. Let me put you on my channel. How big is it? 30. 30? Yeah. It was dead by the time I got him in. All right, we're going to come back in a second once I get closer to him here. Getting the fish. He said he got two. One of them's a 30. There you go. Let me get in closer to you here. There he is, 30 pounder. Good job. Yeah, he was, he was, he was, he was floating by the time I got here. Yeah. He said he got two of them. That one's a 30 pounder though. Wow, you're gonna be the thumbnail for the day. There you go, that's how it's done. Well, this day kinda isn't working out the way I planned. You know, I lost one. 
Uh, lost it pretty quick. Other than that, nothing. I had one little blow up right in front of me and I didn't have anything on to, you know, no swim baits tied onto that I could throw at it. And uh, that's about it. So I don't know, I'm gonna make one more loop around this south buoy down here and then we're gonna head in. This isn't looking good at all. But we did determine that this little Titan right here, it does all right at Willow Beach. I would have, I wanted to see how it was gonna do, you know, hooked onto a big old striper, but it doesn't appear to be in the cards this morning. But she does all right, it does all right in current. So, yeah, and I mean, it's just the, um, the 10 to one and the 12 to one, the difference in that is just, I haven't really had to slow my pedaling down it's just easier to pedal when you're going against the current. So it's, it's like downshifting. So, and you know, I pedaled it. I pedaled a 10 to one driving this current for years before I got in a Jackson. So yeah, she does all right. So yeah, you need a Titan 10.5. They're still on sale all over the place. The uh, 2022s and 2023s, they're blowing them out. So if you can find one, you find a good deal on it. So I think uh, Three Bells has still got some. Now I haven't really looked for any more of them. Somebody's asked me to find them one, but if you want me to find you one, I'll find you one. You can, uh, Three Bells uses um, Pilot Freight, which is really good. You know, they're, they're the best. And the guy in, um, the guy in Michigan has still got the, uh, Last time I talked to him, he still had two of the big rig HDFDs like mine. Oh, I can't remember the name. Gull Lake Marine. And if you if you if you're looking for a, a really good deal on a really good stable, you know, really stable, ridiculously stable kayak, call Luke Gull Lake Marine. Tell him I tell him I referred you. He will hook you up. So we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna make one more loop on that buoy right there. And then we're gonna go to that dock over there. Go on. So we're not done, but we're getting close. All right, that is gonna do it for this one. I didn't catch any fish. My friend Jim got two. He said uh, one was a 30, one was a seven. So Jim is gonna be the thumbnail for this video. If I got close enough. If I didn't get close enough to make a good thumbnail, it's probably not going to be a video. But uh, we're going to try and uh, haven't caught a fish in February yet. Got to got to take care of that. Um, and today's what the 17th. So I went. How far did I go? 6.23 miles, and I lost one. It's not an awesome day. But I'm on the water, it's not a work. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Yeah, that's one nice little I'm gonna try and probably hit Echo tomorrow or Sunday. Go after some little slabbies. So I haven't I don't even think I've boated one of those. Maybe I have. I can't remember. But uh We'll be in this again tomorrow. So I got a little, I got something coming for the big rig. Got a couple things coming actually. Uh, a guy that makes a rendition of this landing gear right here. He's uh, building me something. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's pretty slick. And uh, it'll be a absolute game changer for that big rig. Because this thing today is so easy to launch. You know, instead of darking around with a cart. But, uh, I mean, the, the big rig is pretty easy to launch as it is. But then I launch this thing and it takes me like, you know, a third of the time. And you're like, well, maybe I should really think about listening to that guy. Letting him build me that landing gear. So I'm his test market. You know, I sent him a bunch of measurements and stuff. Then I got something a little... A little bit of motorized coming for it. 
and got the motor, but it's, it's something called auto boat. And it takes your basic, you know, your standard 55 pound thrust motor and it gives it spot lock. So, and you can get, it's got a remote so you can steer it with your hand. So that's going to be pretty slick. We're gonna, I don't know when that's going to show up, but pretty soon. Anyways, check out the Amazon links down there. There's a lot of good stuff. Um, like and subscribe, give it a share. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the water. Have a great day.